Kristen and welcome back to 100 Baby. We are here with Gracie and we also have Quinn and Queenie who are now toddlers as well as Penelope. Now Penelope is going to be on her way to school which I am hoping that possibly she will actually be promoted. So we were able to get her um, grade requirement to excellent just by kind of like getting her homework completed. We also have her skills to a level three or one of them to a level three and we also have completed her homework. So hopefully, oh wait, is she late for school? Okay, she is heading off to school. Okay, so let's get her to study hard. Hopefully that will help get her promoted as well. Now, Gracie, ooh, I don't like that painting. Um, Let's do a pop art painting. Let's do large. And then I think we're actually gonna sell this one. Oh my gosh, okay, so this one is for 1,153 simoleons. Now you guys, we are actually kind of set. So once we do have the air that we have figured out that is gonna take over, I think we're gonna take this puffer fish painting and um, cause I actually really enjoy that one. <laughs> so we're gonna take that one, even though it is really not worth that much, just because whenever we move out, we just kind of like start over and we're gonna have like nothing. Oh, I don't even think I'm gonna like this one. I am so picky when it comes to these paintings here. Okay, we have like so much stuff here. I think we can like pass some of this stuff on. Um, maybe we can, I guess we'll keep that one. So what we are gonna be doing today, you guys, is really focusing on the toddlers because as you guys know, Queenie, Queenie, oh my gosh, Gracie is actually almost in third trimester. So we only have three more hours before we do end up in the third trimester. And that is going to mean we are going to be having our possible vampire baby by Vlad. So I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm kind of like really nervous to possibly have a vampire baby um, in this home once again, just because the last vampires that we have had are Casper and Ken. And it has been a while since um, we have played around with them. But I would kind of have a little bit of interest in getting to know vampires a little bit more just because I do feel that, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Queenie has everything into a level three. I know in the last part, you guys, we really focused, focused oh my gosh, on her skills. So today we are really going to focus on Quinn getting all of her um, skills to a level three. So let's get Queenie to come over, Quinn, oh my gosh, I always get these two mixed up. So she is gonna come over. I definitely feel like we will be able to get that potty to a level three pretty quickly. Movement's gonna be easy because that's just something that you do gain. Oh my gosh. Yes. Um. That was a masterpiece. Ooh, wait, I've never seen that one before. Let's have Gracie just come over and do some more paintings. So I kind of feel like the new air might have to do some painting as well, just because like I do enjoy seeing all of these paintings that are like not in game. So they're kind of like rare to me. On the road to fame, Sims have the ability to become celebrities. There are many different ways to become a celebrity. I kind of want to like peek into Gracie a little bit here. Oh my gosh, so wait, oh God, who's in trouble? Oh, they hung up on us. Okay, the gardener's here. Wait, is that Caleb? Ooh, a professional gardener. Interesting. I did not realize, you guys, that Gracie actually has a pristine reputation. So a pristine reputation is good as it gets. Passing by other Sims will elect friendly waves. Friends will be more forgiving of any of your social miscures and everyone's life is brightened by your presence. You can also host charity benefit parties, posh event for gathering. <gasps> Ooh, we definitely need to like look into that. Grace, I'm calling to let you know that Gabe has passed away. Oh my God, Gabe has passed away. Okay, oh my gosh. I wonder, are we gonna be like really upset by that? Yes, oh my God, we're like losing so much family. I feel like all of, um, everybody's just kind of like, oh, I'm so upset by that. I was not ready for him. That means we're probably gonna have one for Gracie or Gabby that is gonna like be popping up soon. Oh my gosh, okay, this one is excellent. 
that one's a masterpiece, you guys. I don't know. Like, I'm just going to kind of keep these all here until it gets to that time. And I think I will have you guys vote on, like, which ones we're actually going to be keeping. I think that could be um, really interesting. So let's kind of just get Queenie. She can come over. She can play dolls, even though she's, like, ready to go, you guys. She is on it. Okay, no, Quinn, you need to go potty again. We really need to get you working on those skills. Yeah, you go potty. Quinn, Queenie, lost in the family. Okay, I get it. Play dolls. Or I don't think she can come over. Maybe we'll just do what's that. Are you stuck? Do we need to reset you? What about come over, play with dolls? And can we do this light? Can we make it just, oh, uh, maybe we'll, we'll keep it what it was. Okay, so we have them working on all of that. Gracie, have we made it into third trimester? Okay, oh my God. So we have now entered into the third trimester, you guys. So Gracie is going to be going into labor pretty soon hopefully it doesn't take too long um we're going to put some of these let's put that one there gracie let's do um pop art let's do that one i feel like those could look really cute in the kids bedrooms man she's like making so many today's mail has been delivered okay we probably have some bills let's just kind of go through the inventory what time is it noon Okay, let's get through all of these ones because we kind of can't even see what we have going on in the inventory. Um, let's get rid of this one. Do we have food? Okay, I think we have some old food in here that we can probably get rid of that is spoiled. And like I said, I am going to be keeping the plasma fruit just because that's going to be something that we do pass on. Um... Wait a minute. Oh my gosh. Did she take old food? Oh no. What is this? Or is she going outside? Let's just kind of wait a minute. Oh my God. You need to get your skills up because we need to have you age up today. You need to come back over. We almost have that potty skill up. So let's go over, go potty. And Gracie's probably going to need to um, empty the trash. What a mess in here. Oh my God. How are the fish? How are the fish doing? Can we, okay, we can't actually breed the frog right now because we do only have one of them, but I feel like that is going to be something that we should probably do a little bit more of in, um, once we do have the new air take over because over on Twitch, if you guys don't follow me, we do a bunch of other series there as well. And I've definitely been kind of learning other ways to make money. And I kind of feel like the new air is going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit less um, working towards that money tree. I feel like we're gonna kind of live off the land a little bit more. I wish we had a farming pack. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Okay, so she is over here. We have Quinn working on her level three. So the next one that we are definitely gonna need to get working on is that imagination and communication is usually leveled up pretty quickly. So maybe we can work on those together by having the girls maybe like play some dolls. Um. Yeah, let's play the dolls. Name the dolls. Oh my gosh, that's cute. And Gracie, what do we have coming up? Okay, so we do have the talent showcase this weekend. What is next week? New skill day. Ooh, that's interesting. Whose birthday is coming up? Okay, so hopefully we do have the toddlers that do age up before um, next week. <laughs> oh my god, this one is so cute. Okay, I love the paintings. I love, love, love them. I might actually get rid of the superhero one. I think we'll have Gracie come over. And Gracie has collected everything. Okay, what do we have? Somebody has to pee. Oh my gosh, Gracie. Probably because we are like soon going to be giving birth. Let's have her do that. She's probably going to need some food. We definitely need to make sure that we keep Gracie's needs and stuff all the way up just because... She's going to be having this baby like so soon, you guys. So we need to make sure that when she has the children, she's going to be able to actually like sleep. So we have Queenie. She is good and she is good as well. Okay, how is this? Okay, we didn't get any notifications. You need to go potty. 
once again. And okay, we're definitely gonna be getting that. We're at 93%. Oh my gosh, Gracie, did she appear her pants hygiene? Okay, we're gonna need to take a shower. I think we're definitely gonna need to get cleaning up in this home. I feel like this weekend, once the weekend hits you guys, I feel like the family is just gonna need to have a full on like gardening and cleaning day. It's needed, we've kind of been putting it off a little bit. Okay, you need to come over and play dolls again. We need to keep her busy. For sure, she needs to like stay super busy. So I'm kind of looking at some of the other skills stuff that we have. I think we pretty much have everything that we need for toddlers. Okay, good, oh my gosh. She has finally reached level three. I think the next thing we're gonna have her working on is imagination. So we're gonna join playing dolls. And this is also hopefully gonna get working on communication at the same time. Oh my gosh, so we just have the two girls playing together. How freaking cute are they, you guys? I actually feel like I don't want them to age up this time. <laughs> like, I actually am really enjoying Quinn and Queenie. I feel like they are probably like the easiest toddlers that we have had, even though they kind of like cried quite a bit. Oh my gosh, Penelope. Penelope has been working hard and she now, as a high school student, great job. Okay. Oh my gosh, is she gonna be able, she is a high school student, she is now in A, and were we able to work on getting those character values up? Um, almost got the responsibility comp. Oh my God, she has, uh, she's a mediator. How the heck did we get conflict resolution up? Oh my God, you guys, I feel like that is the first time we were ever able in this series to get that up. What the heck did I do to get Penelope working on that? So Penelope, you are gonna have to come over, open this up, we're gonna pull out that cake. And we're gonna have her blow out the candles. Let's actually make a wish. And we're also gonna need to have her, oh, she's not that happy. Penelope, I think she like doesn't want to move out. I mean, I get that. I feel like she's definitely going to be really nervous to move out. And we are going to be using Suri today to help us choose her random traits. Oh my gosh, Penelope. Penelope is now a young adult. So we are going to be choosing a random trait for Penelope. So let's get Suri to help us today. So, hey Suri, pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is one. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and seven. A random number between one and seven is seven. Okay, so she has creative, which I definitely pictured that for um, Penelope as well. Oh my Hello, gosh, me. Penelope. Okay, you need to Hello. add birthday candles so we can save that for the next birthday. Ollie, Nellie has yeah. sent over, James has sent over, okay. And did we put that, thank goodness you guys. Every time we go to do that, we always like put it in the dishwasher. So we are gonna be getting Penelope a job today. So let's just kind of look over at her um, her skills. Okay, so level three mixology. And she also, like I said, did get that um, hot-headed, jealous, oh my gosh, what the heck. Hot-headed, jealous, happy toddler, disasterly, creative. Okay, so we do have mixology. Okay, let's go over. We're gonna get her a job before we um, get her moved out in the next episode. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be able to have Gracie having so many freaking children, you guys. We also should check on Gracie. We have 16 days until age up. So we definitely, you guys, will be having Gracie have a few more pregnancies before, um, before moving on. I don't know how many. How many pregnancies do you guys picture Gracie having before we actually like move on into an elder? Okay, so Penelope, I mean, we could do an astronaut, but I picture her to be more in social media writer. Oh, is there not a bartender? Doctor, scientist, astronaut, critic. I, I guess she could even be a critic just because she's like pretty opinionated entertainer, military painter, politician, style influencer. Hmm. 
Hmm, this one's a hard one. I think we're gonna put her into culinary just because she is, uh, there we go, anyone can make dinner or mix a drink at home. The culinary career is for those who wanna take it to another level and make money doing it. Career branches, chef and mixologist, that is perfect for her. Okay, so she has entered the culinary career, so she is gonna be moving out in the next episode. So we need to move out Penelope. Okay, so she should probably, what's going on with Gracie? Okay, so Penelope is good. She should probably maybe come over and we can get some leftovers. Quinn, Quinn is getting hungry. We probably should have her um, get some food, but I kind of want to check on her skills a little bit. Okay, you come over, play dolls. That really helped communication. You guys having them, oh wait, that's the wrong one. <laughs> okay, well, uh, we almost do have imagination into a level three, and we definitely will be able to get communication, I feel, to a level three today as well. Let's get you to come in here. Play dolls together, because I really do want to have Quinn and um, Queenie kind of age up today. So we can... Join playing dolls together. Get them in a little bit of a better mood. Penelope, I guess, could come in and, like, talk to them as well. Um, join playing dolls and... Oh, my gosh. Are you still upset? Okay, she is, like, exhausted. We could probably... Let's go out here. What can we do? I don't think we have, like, anything to weed out here. Oh, my gosh. We can evolve a bunch of these. Our poor garden. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's get all of these brought up. Um, let's sell. We can sell all of them. Okay. Yeah, we might have to like harvest them and like maybe give them to the new heir as well. Do you guys think that's a good idea to kind of like start some kind of like a collection I, I guess we call them like a hope chest here that you have like your own little collection that when you move out, you have like a little bit of starter stuff. What? I think we can evolve those as well. Okay, we're selling. Oh my gosh, we probably should have just harvested. Quinn has reached level two in communication. Okay, so that is going well for them. Is Penelope still in here? No, she's not. Okay, so what do we need to work on? Communication, imagination. No, you're going to come over and play dolls. You're going to go over in here and you are, oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to need to cook them up some food. Penelope, oh, she's, okay, let's join playing dolls. Penelope, you can come in. Join playing dolls. Don't you dare smash that. Oh my gosh, what's broken? No, we don't want to repair. Let's replace because we have more money than we need. And she's going to need to use the washroom. We should probably get Penelope to do a few chores while she is here as well. Let's get her to clean. We can get you to clean this as well. What about over in here? Nope, that looks amazing. <laughs> that shower looks really freaking good. And we don't have to clean this one. That looks good as well. And I don't feel like everybody uses the bathroom upstairs that much either. Okay, so those, everything's looking fine. We still have the gym that really doesn't get that much use. And Queenie has reached level four of imagination. Okay, how about you? You're getting hungry. We're going to need to bring some food in. Almost to a level three. Okay, let's open this up. And what could we feed them that is not rotten? Vegetable tempura. Okay, let's do this one. Let's get the girls to each just kind of relax a little bit. It is seven o'clock. Okay, so I definitely do not want to keep them awake like too long. That would probably not be such a good idea. Oh my gosh. Gracie, you need to come over and use the bathroom again. Holy cow. I hope I haven't like missed any notifications for labor. Nope. Okay. <laughs> kind of started to get a little bit worried there. We're going to send her to bed. She's going to need to stay well rested, that is for sure. We need to make sure that Gracie stays in the green for everything because as you guys know, once we have that baby, we are going to have like no rest whatsoever. So Queenie, she is eating. She is definitely going to need to go to bed. 
which is fine because she is going to be able to age up. So let's get her to go to sleep. And oh my gosh, you are getting low as well. I really want to get those brought up though. We'll get her to play dolls. Play dolls with Penelope. Yes, let's do that. Hopefully that will kind of like double for communication and help get that brought up a little bit quicker. So the only two things we really need, or the only thing I guess we really need to focus on is communication because we are going to have her imagination brought up so super quickly. Has Gracie gone back to sleep? Yes, she has. Okay. So still kind of waiting. Tired. Gracie is tired. Pregnant. We're still pregnant and growing so fast. Delicious dish. Okay, so we definitely do have a lot of good um, things going on for Gracie right now. Quinn, you need to come in. I definitely, oh my God, she is exhausted. Okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to have you go nighty night. Penelope, you should probably, I guess she can like sleep downstairs for now. It's a little bit more of a mature room for her. So, what I am going to be doing, you guys, I'm going to send everybody to sleep so we can get their energy brought back up for Friday. And I will meet you guys right back here once Gracie goes into labor. Okay, you guys, well, Gracie has gone into labor. I'm so excited, but yet so nervous about this. Everybody's like crying. <laughs> wait. Oh my God. Wait, who is crying? Holly, oh my God, I didn't even see her come over. She like literally just lives here. It's like she didn't even move out. So we are gonna have Gracie go ahead, have the baby. We have had Penelope just kind of like working on her baking skill and just kind of like getting a bunch of food at the home before she moves out. So let's get Penelope to, um, let's do one more meal before she moves out. We'll do some vegetable dumplings just to kind of get like all of that together. Now, one thing that I have been working on, you guys know that Quinn was ready to age up. So she just kind of now is into a level four because we had her working with Quinn at the dollhouse and we were able to finally bring everything up to a level three. We did go out to the slide and really get that movement brought up. So we are gonna be able to have them age up. So I think that's what we're gonna do first before we have Gracie um, actually go into labor. Um, oh gosh, let's put this one away and okay. So first we are going to start with Queenie just because let's have candles help by Gracie. We're going to come over and have them age up. So just because Queenie really worked super hard, you guys, she was ready to age up like two days ago because um, I don't know, she's just like really speedy, I guess. <laughs> but I did wanna make sure that Quinn and Queenie actually were able to age up together. So of course we are gonna have her come over and Candles help come over. Level two, okay, Penelope, oh my gosh, still making food. Okay, you can, let's actually just get her to make up one more thing. Let's do um, chips and salsa. Let's do that. We need like so much food. Okay, you guys, well, we are having Queenie age up. We are gonna be using Suri once again to choose her traits. Oh my gosh, wait, Gracie, add birthday candles. And Queenie has aged up, you guys, so we are gonna be choosing an aspiration. Hey, Suri, pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is three. Hey, Suri, pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is three. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and 11. A random number between one and 11 is seven. Ooh, rambunctious scamp and she's also a slob. Oh my God, that is not what I am pictured for her. Oh my God, look at her hair. Oh my God, she has adorable freaking curls. Okay, so, oh yeah, we are in labor. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Gracie, we need to like blow out the candles one more time and then you can um, have your baby. Oh, did she cut herself? Penelope, you need to like, you need to like just calm down a little bit. You still have to like your first day. Oliver has sent Queenie over a gift. Nellie has sent over, yes, we have so many presents that I honestly don't know what to do with them. Okay, we're going out. 
And I kind of feel like the toddlers for um, their skills took a little bit longer this time. I'm not sure if it's just me, but I definitely feel like it took a lot longer this time um, than normal. Okay, so let's blow out the candles and we are going to be using Surrey once again for our random traits. Oh my gosh, wait, you need to add birthday candles. <laughs> Gracie's like crying. Okay, so hey Surrey, pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is three. Oh my God, how cool is that that the twins have the exact same thing? Hey Siri, pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is three. Hey Siri, pick a number between one and 11. A random number between one and 11 is six. Oh my God. Who also is a klepto? Was it Molly? I can't remember who else had that trait, but she is a charmer as well as rambunctious scamp, exactly like her twin sister and also, unfortunately, kleptomaniac. Oh my God, but they're actually like really cute. Does she have makeup on? Oh my gosh. Okay, she has matching pink eyeliner. Okay, let's put that away. Okay, Gracie, it is your time. We're going to have her actually, um, we're not going to go to the hospital. We're just going to have the babies here. We're going to have come over. Let me pull up the name that you guys have suggested. Desktop. We are on our, okay, Gracie, we are having our baby from, um, Vlad. You guys, we have been looking forward to this. I feel like since the first day. Ooh, we have a boy. Okay, it has definitely been a while since we have had a boy. So we are gonna be going over into the comments. Now this comment was suggested by Livy. So, oh my gosh, Livy, you gave so many boy names. We have Ranger, Richard, Rick, Ricky, Rupert. Okay, I think we're gonna go with Randall. Okay, let's go with R-A-N-D-A-L-L. -L. So we finally have a little boy who we're gonna see soon if it's actually a vampire or not called Randall. Okay, we have another little boy. <laughs> um, we need to like double check again. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, Ken and Casper were twin boy vampires. Could it possibly be again more twin vampires? So. This one comes from Life with Lily. So let's find your boy names. They have Robbie, Robin, Roger, Riker, Reese. Ooh, you have Randall as well. I think we're gonna go with Riker. We're gonna go Riker and Randall. Hopefully I can like keep them. Um... <gasps> I seen vampire bats. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is freaking crazy okay we have two more vampire babies okay we need to change the vampire counter now as you guys know vampires and aliens actually count as two instead of one so we need to change this by four instead of two oh my gosh so 33 34 35 36 37 oh my gosh okay oh my gosh gracie come in we need to do some super efficient baby care and oh my gosh, super efficient baby care. Look at Riker, he's just like, I'm good. That was exhausting. What an experience labor is. <laughs> and he's just like completely freaking traumatized by it. But you guys, that is where we are gonna be ending today's episode of 100 Baby. I actually had so much fun with this episode and oh my gosh, why does it do that that we can't get to the baby? I honestly, I don't, I don't understand, is it, is it? this I don't know maybe we'll move it over some Gracie can you come over and let's do let's just cuddle maybe we'll feed maybe you're hungry she better be able to get there oh my gosh <laughs> but like I said you guys I had so much fun in today's episode we were able to have Gracie go into labor with our new vampire twin boys and we also did age up Quinn. Queenie and Penelope is going to be moving out in the next episode. So you guys know what that means. We need to have Gracie again working on finding a new donor, a new father for her next baby. 
So let me know if there's anyone in particular you guys want to see it down in the comments below and start leaving your new baby name suggestions. Wait, we're feeding Riker. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Feed. Breastfeed. Okay, there we go. Yes. Oh my gosh. Give me a heart attack. But make sure that you guys do give today's video a very big thumbs up. It always lets me know you guys did enjoy. And hopefully I'm going to see you all next time. Bye guys.